and greetings from Owings Mills Gymnasium on the campus of Stevenson University. Stevenson women, they're looking to avoid a third straight loss. Their task perhaps a bit tougher as they face the number 24 Lions of Albright. Let's take a look at the MAC Commonwealth standings. You see the Mustangs sitting at five and six right now, fifth place in the conference. Meanwhile, Albright battling Messiah right at the top. They're nine and one, a half game back of the Falcons. Albright, the only loss being that 82-73 setback at Messiah on January 18th. Since then, they've won three straight. For Stevenson, they had been rolling. They had rolled off seven straight victories, but they have lost back-to-back -back games. What have these two teams done statistically coming into this game? Mustangs averaging just 62.3 points per game. The offense has been the trouble all season long. They're allowing, however, just 60. Point four points per game. Their defense has been up the task. The Lions scoring 79.6 points per game, allowing to 57.8. They have been great in every facet of the game. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, so that's like a we've been running that uh, that, that like play for inbounds. We always run it, and it just so happened that I noticed like the girl was slightly in front of me where we lined up for the jump ball. So I was just sitting there like I'm taking off and hopefully we get the tip to Morgan cleanly so that she can get it to me. So yeah, I definitely remember that. Momentum very clearly on the side of the Lions at the moment. Where's the offense gonna come from for the Mustangs? Deluzio inside to Huggins. She goes up with it and scores. Johnson pushes forward, stops, pops. Goes down, Snow Kelly. Dania Campbell's gonna try three up, three down. When we get on a run, it's kind of hard to stop with, especially if we continue to play good defense, and that turns into energy for offense. So um, I know going into the second quarter, we just like keep our foot on their throat the entire time. Steps back, tries the three, and connects. Brandy Hall, point three. Mustangs match their largest lead of the game at 31-24 with this offensive burst. And now a steal from Hannah Chris. She's got to pass the basket. She misses it, but there to clean it up is Dania Campbell. Dania Campbell. Campbell's got seven. Hall's got eight. Mustangs have a 33-24 lead. Chris pokes it away again. Terrell is a really good player. Um, he, he's athletic, big, uh, um, can finish at the basket. We just had a chip on our shoulder. Like, we wanted that win really bad, and we knew we needed that win really bad, too. Won't fall. There to finish, however, is Brandy Hall. Trying to show that she can come back in. Coleman tries a jump shot from the free throw line and nails it. Long three for Hall. Oh, that's a biggie. I was the, oh goodness gracious. I remember that so much. Okay, so we, Coach Jackie called a timeout, but we couldn't advance it. So then Kelly had to take the ball out. And then she tried, I like, was slightly open toward like, like streaking. Like she was trying to throw it long with Terrell's arms are like super long. So she tipped it. It was like 53 or 53 for like a minute. And then I was able to streak towards the basket. So then I missed that wide open layup. And from like two out of the three of my game winners, like I missed the basket right before it. And it just made me more mad that I missed it because they were, most of them, like both of them, it was against Salisbury and this one, they were like point blank, like shots that I am able to do all the time. So after I noticed that it didn't even hit the backboard, it just went right over the rim. Um, I was eight, like, Kelly tipped it, and then I was able to like tip it to keep it in bounds, um, and just like watch the slide the ball, and I was like, I can get to this. So then I just like undercut the girl and grabbed it, and so then when I picked it up, she like jumped to the side. And I was like, oh crap, like I was trying to 
pump fake anyway, but I didn't expect her to, like, jump out of the way. So I was like, okay. And so I um, dribbled it, and then I had to, like, fade forward a little bit because she was, like, on my back, which could have or could, you know, maybe, maybe not a foul. Gets off the jumper and connects! Um, and then I thought it was like he did. Mustangs! No, they're gonna say not, not over yet. But Brandy Hall put Stevenson on top 55 53 with under a second to go. And then Liv freaking fouled Terrell. Oh. Gaffney looking for Terrell, gets it to her. Terrell, did she get it off? Yes, it doesn't matter. No good. Foul called. Oh my gosh. And they called it and she jumped. I was like, no way. There was no way that she was like, that's a shooting foul. And I was stressed. <laughs> and that's all it is. The foul on the floor. Can't foul this time. This would be free throws. Gaffney to inbound. Lobs it into Terrell. Terrell launches. Off the top of the backboard, and the Mustangs have taken down the number 24 team in the country. They win the night 55 to 53. Brandy Hall, the hero. Because they were like 24 in the country at the time, that was like a huge deal and like a huge confidence booster for us.